Hello and welcome, welcome back. This is Redemption Goddess. Meet Anna Freeze Lady. If don't drink from this cup was a person, my cup runneth over, literally. This woman managed to off two of her husbands and damn near her own daughter. Or actually, I don't remember if it's her stepdaughter or her birth daughter or whatever. But she damn near offed her too. Oh, to the M to the G. Now, I found out about this story through that chapter. I told you guys I have a few favorite channels on here. And I was watching this. This is a few months old. I'll link that chapter's version in the description box. Or you can just Google her name, Stacy Castor. This woman had the caucasity to off one husband, hurry up and put him in the ground so they could do the autopsy and everything and find out what she did. And she went on about life, you know, took her 50 grand, which I don't know what planet people are living on where 50,000 is just like this, ooh, let's retire by the beach type money. You know, you have to be... Uh, anyway, just it's just not a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? It, it's really not. It's barely two years worth of living, and that's living uh, about fifteen hundred dollars a month. It's barely living. I have to see how sleepy. What? Anyway, so this woman. What she does is she takes the antifreeze and she gives it to him slowly and they slowly get sick. It's a very sick, painful way to end. And then when they're so weak in the end, she took the second one, second husband, she took a turkey baster and forced it down their throat. And then she has the caucasity to pretend like, I don't know. Let me tell you, now she needs to be in World's Dumbest Criminals as well. Because while she's being interviewed, she says, well, I poured the antifreeze. I'm, I meant, uh, uh, and then she hurried up and lawyered up, <laughs> lawyered up. She literally in the police interview, <laughs> dumbass lady, her husband, both of them spirits is probably around, you know, tormenting her or whatever. But this is pure evil. I mean, she took two lives, almost three. She almost took her daughter's life as well. Again, I don't know if it was her stepdaughter. I'm just sitting up here thinking like, what? Because you got to look. You're looking at the picture. I got to see. I got to see what she looked like. What type of cold-hearted which I guess her. You see her face? You see her face? She looked like a meth head to me. Now, drugs is, a, is, you know, your mind is a terrible thing to waste. This is your brain on drugs, fried eggs, you know, whatever. Um, I, I'm just... Hmm... So this woman come over, she say, hey, this your neighbor now, y'all. I'm having, you know, drinks and stuff later on. Do you want to come? This is why I am always unavailable, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm so unavailable. What I, well, what do you have to do? Oh, I just, you know, cut the grass with some scissors Whatever it is, I'm going to go rebuild my laptop. Just look, I'm busy. Just leave me alone. Um, this is why I, I, I'm this is why I bond with animals more. I'm serious, y'all. It's getting to this point. I'm not gonna say I don't want no friends because I don't want the universe to hear that and think that I no. I have some. I have two very 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 good friends and I have some very good acquaintances I don't never ever want to know nobody like this 
this is why you don't eat after folks. This is why you don't drink after folks. You take your thirsty, hungry ass home. Okay? Some people do. See, she did this for life insurance money. Imagine folk do stuff like this out of spite. Just imagine sitting there and watching someone get so sick. Just watching them suffer and die. Then she lying on a 911. Oh, he locked himself in the room. They come in there and find, find him naked, up, damn near naked on the floor. Where she'd have been forcing the stuff down his throat. He didn't got so weak and sick, he literally couldn't call for help. Right? She don't even look like nothing to me. Like, she doesn't even... Well, we know that for some guys, it don't matter, you know, long as... Anyway, just whatever. This is the most cal- calculated cold thing. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. That chapter has a lot of calculated cold folks on there. The fact that she says in the police interview, well, I poured the antifreeze. I mean, the fact that she said antifreeze and tried to take it back and then go lawyer up. You guys are trying to frame me. I'm going to actually try to go find that interrogation. And link it in the description box because I want it. I want you guys to hear the moment she incriminates herself. Dumb, dummy, dumb, dumb. But even though she's dumb, she's just one person, one evil, messed up person. Now there's many, many, many out there. We walk amongst psychopaths daily. You even may be one, and I even may be one. My question is, does she represent all white women? No, of course not. Now, we make her about eight shades darker. Say she's black. Say she did this. Some type of way, this conversation would be shifted to all black women. This one woman, actually it's many women in the past that has poisoned or done some crazy stuff to their husbands. But why do they get to hold that ill individually? But some type of weird way. Some woman, somewhere, that's black. If she do something, it's my fault too. I... I'm just trying to wrap my brain around this because these are the conversations that I hear on the internet. This Corella DeVille looking lady, I almost called her out her name. She probably deserved that. This meth head looking woman, she's taking her ill, right? Other folks named Stacy, Becky, Karen, ain't none of them taking this ill with her. Why do I have to take the ill with the effed up ge- degenerate black woman that's and done something and hit the news or whatever, and then all of a sudden it's black women? Somebody answer this for me. Somebody in the comments, somebody somewhere, please, because I really want to know. This woman is holding her own ill. Everyone should be able to hold their own ills. Period. Right? Evil is evil. It lives in all of us. The purest form of evil is how we talk to ourselves. You won't make it. You're not good enough. You've done too much. You're too far gone. You ugly. You da da da. We this is like what we do to ourselves inside of our own head. And then when we're able to put that tongue on someone else, we do. You're ugly. You're this. You're that. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, da, da, da. Right? Stacy holding her ill. Ain't nobody making no petitions. And is this some white men on the panel talking about Stacy? Stacy Caster? Beware. We got to divest. <laughs> we got to divest now, y'all. <laughs> before you get before you get antifreeze. <laughs> 
is it five nine hour panels a whole bunch of men sitting up talking about we are walking away from why of course not we ain't even got to finish it right of course not stacy gets to hold her own ill you barely even knew about stacy some of y'all did y'all know about stacy anyway tell me what you think in the comments like share subscribe thank you so much for listening And remember, antifreeze will kill you.